run the video camera. I want to be hypnotized. There's one person who would you'd like to have a volunteer to run. Great, just meet me in the back of the room there. I'll show you how it works. So we'll get started in about one minute from now.
here. I will give you one empowering suggestion of your choice. It'll be a private suggestion, it'll be a personal suggestion, you'll keep it to yourself. Something there that you want to work on, some area of your life that you want to improve. You can do that right here at the end of the show. Value 500 bucks, okay? I'm excited about that, good. Okay, good. 
Are we ready for guys? You're hypnotized. And you're not going to feel hypnotized. But you are. You're just going to feel relaxed. You're not going to feel like you've been hit by lightning, or that you see fireworks. You're not going to feel any particular way. You're just going to feel relaxed. see fireworks, you're just going to feel relaxed. So don't you judge, just let me be the judge of whether you're hypnotized or not. In fact, you won't even know what it is that you go under. Just listen to the sound of my voice, do everything I tell you, and I promise this is going to be great for you. As we take another deep breath and weigh it, and exhale all the way. Some of you will be leaving the stage very shortly. I'll only do one with the people up here who would remain quiet. 
and can concentrate and can focus. At this time, go ahead and just raise your head up and eyes open and look at me. Very good. And at this time, I'd like you to pick a point of concentration right up here in the ceiling without raising your chin, without raising your chin, using your eyeballs only. Just pick a point of concentration up here on the ceiling. Just go ahead and roll your eyes up. Point of, pick a point of concentration on the ceiling. Almost as if you're trying to look at a little dot right on the top of your skull. And as you focus all of your attention on that place in the ceiling, there will be other sounds in this room. Sounds of my voice, sounds of the music, perhaps even sounds of the building. And sounds of the, the camera. These are the sounds of everyday living. They will not disturb you. They will only serve to relax you even more. As we take another deep breath in, way in. And exhale all the way. Excellent. As you begin to focus your eyes up there on the ceiling, you're going to begin to feel a little bit of eye strain. All the little muscles beginning to fatigue. The eyelids feeling so heavy. Your eyes are beginning to burn and water. Your eyes are beginning to burn and water. And you just allow your eyelids to close on down over your eyeballs. It's not because I said so, it's just because you just pull up out of this way. Just allow them to close on down, right over your eyeballs. Just close them on down. Excellent. And now that your eyelids are closed, I'd like you to imagine off in the distance there's a beautiful, wonderful white light. And as this beautiful white light approaches, it begins to warm up all the muscles on the top of your scalp, relaxing all the muscles on the top of your scalp. As white light now travels to the back, seeing all the muscles in the back of your head, completely relaxing and letting go all the muscles in the back of your head. As the white light now travels across your forehead, relaxing all the muscles in the forehead, into your eyebrows, into your eyelids, completely relaxing all the muscles in the eyelids all the way. Eyes, your eyes may begin to flutter a little bit, and that's okay. So good. If your eyelids flutter, that's all right. And if they don't, that's okay too. Just completely relax them all the way. As this white light now spreads across your face, relaxing all the muscles. And into the jaw, the jaw feeling very heavy, so very heavy. Your chin feels so very heavy. It just wants to fall forward onto your chest. As we relax, relax all the muscles around the mouth, the lips, and the front lines, completely relaxing them and letting them go. Excellent. As this warmth and relaxation now travels down into the muscles of the throat, completely relaxing all the muscles of the throat, down into the neck, completely relaxing. If someone should lean on you, that's okay. Just let it relax even more. Let it relax, man. Let it all hang out. This warm white light and wonderful sense of relaxation and warmth now travels into the muscles of the neck. You know, so much in the in shoulders, the muscles of the neck and the shoulders, so much stress and tension is kept in those shoulders. Just let it go, you just don't need it anymore. As you continue to sink down into your chair, relax. As this wonderful warmth and sensation of relaxation that travels, relaxing all the muscles in the chest. Down into the stomach, relaxing all the muscles in the stomach, completely relax and let it go. Excellent, you're doing so very, very well. As it's warmth and sensation that travels to the upper back, relaxing the muscles in the back. Down into the middle of the back and into the lower back as you read your chair, completely relaxing your back completely. As this sensation now travels in the top of your arms, relax the muscles on the top of the arms. Down into the biceps, into the forearms, completely relaxed and letting go in every way. Because the only one that you did I was strong. No, he's fucking. Into the wrists, into the hands into the palms of the hands, out through the tips of the fingers, and into the tops of your legs, completely relaxed and letting go. You're doing so very well as we take another deep breath in, way in. And exhale all the way slowly, seven, six, five, four, huh? three, two, one. You're doing so well. As the sensation of warmth and relaxation that travels into the tops of the thighs, relax the muscles on the tops of the thighs. And the backs of the thighs, down into the knees, into the calves, the shins. Yeah. Down into your ankles and into the feet. Just completely relax and let it go in every way. As we take it in the No matter how relaxed you get up here. 
my job. Brett's gonna kick his ass. Kick his ass, Brett. Excellent. Doing so very, very well. Perfect. Any sound from the audience to serve to relax or move more as we continue to focus on your breath, focus on the sound of my voice, and just relax. In a moment, I want to take you down to this wonderful restful place called Deep Peace and Tranquility. This wonderful, wonderful, beautiful restful place called Deep Peace and Tranquility. A place where we'll be smelling familiar smells, touching familiar textures, seeing familiar sights, familiar people, all things that serve to relax us and make us feel wonderful in every way. In order to get to this wonderful, wonderful place called Deep Peace and Tranquility, we're going to walk down a beautiful flight of stairs. And this beautiful, beautiful flight of stairs that look any way that you want them to. With every step we take down from 10 all the way down to zero into this wonderful place called deep peace and tranquility, you'll become 20 times more relaxed with each step we take down from 20 times more relaxed. Starting off with step 10, we'll take a deep breath in, weigh in, and exhale all the way. Going down to step nine, going down to step eight, going down to step seven, Going down to step, going down to step five, going down to step four, we're getting closer. Going down to step three, going down to step two, we're almost there. Going down to step one, going down to zero. Now into this wonderful, wonderful restful place called deep peace and tranquility. Smelling familiar smells, touching familiar textures, seeing familiar sights, familiar people, all things that serve to relax us and make us feel totally uninhibited in every way. Now that we're in this wonderful, beautiful place called deep peace and tranquility, we'll breathe in some of this relaxation. Just take a deep breath in, just take a deep breath in and let it fill up your entire body all the way from the tips of your toes to the top of your head. <laughs> This breath right now for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhaling all the way. Seven, that six, five, seven. four, three, one two, one. Come on, you're warm and So very, very heavy and relaxed. You guys want to chill? Now at this time, just like you did before, extend both your arms straight out in front of you. Extend both of your arms straight out in front of you. Turn your right palm toward the ceiling, your left palm down. Your right palm toward the ceiling, your left palm down. And I'd like you to imagine. <laughs> In your right hand, in your right hand, I place a heavy iron bucket of heavy wet sand. This bucket weighs 15 pounds. I really feel and concentrate on the heaviness in the right hand as it pulls your hand down and down and down. 25 pounds down and down and down and down and down. And the lower it goes, the heavier it gets and the heavier it gets, the lower it goes, pulling your hand down and down and down and down and down and down and down. And down, and down, and down. And on your left wrist, I've tied 50 red helium balloons and really feel and concentrate on the lightness on the left wrist as it pulls the hand higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. And the higher it goes, the lighter it gets, and the lighter it gets, the higher it goes. And it pulls your hand higher and higher as the right hand continues to go down and down and down and down and down. The left wrist arm just gets higher. Excellent. You're doing very, very well. And I'm going to be walking among you now. I'll be walking among you. If I should touch you, it will not disturb you. It will serve to relax you. The moment I tap you on your hand, it shall sleep. Your hands will drop down into your lap or by your side, sending you 20 times the deeper into relaxation you are right now, and it just feels great. So if I give you a number, you will remember your number. You will remember your number. And the audience will continue to remain quiet during this part. That's fucked up. Nobody killed my friend. All right. You guys are pussy. They're getting hypnotized.
<laughs> this asshole's eating. I comes Rick. Rick wins you now. He's turning to dominate. Oh no. Rick Renzi, Rick Renzi has been dominated. No. <laughs> oh, here's Lauren. Oh God. No. You guys. Whatever. You guys. Later. You're done. <laughs> Suckers. I want to hold it. Okay. Okay. Here's Tyler. It's the big one. Oh, they're not getting Tyler. We can't, man. Because huh? I don't want to be a dickhead. I volunteered to film this shit. It's okay. Go ahead. All we need to do is get someone to watch this for us for like two minutes. From this moment on, everything I say is the absolute truth. The moment that I say it, everything I say is the absolute truth. The moment that I say it, if I should move you or touch you, tap you on the forehead, grab your hand, shout sleep or deep asleep, you will immediately return on by returning to your chair, closing down your eyelids, and collapsing back down to this wonderful, restful place, even deeper than you are right now. And it just feels great. Everything I say is the absolute truth. The moment that I say it. You immediately respond as over the absolute truth. If I should tap you on the forehead, I will come back to okay. grab your hand, point at you. Shall I sleep or deep asleep? You'll immediately respond by returning to your chair, closing down your eyelids, collapsing back down into this wonderful, restful place called deep peace and tranquility. If I give you a number, you will remember your number. Three, eyes open, everybody. Three, two, one. Everybody sit in the chair, eyes open, wide awake, everybody. Uh, Signature eyes open. If you did not get a number, stand up now. If you did not get a number, stand up now. Those of you who did not get a number, stand up now. That would be you as well, stand up. And that would be you, stand up right here. And that would be you too, stand up right here. Those of you who did not get a number, please exit the stage this way direction and return to your seat out there in the audience. <laughs> now, it doesn't mean that these guys could not be here, but it just means that something else was on their mind here this morning. Okay. So you can come right up here, have a seat right here. And you right here, come right up and have a seat right here between these two guys. And you sort of have a seat right here, and you right here have a seat right here. We got another empty seat. Hey, what's your name, by the way? What is that? Jenny. Jenny. Jenny should lay a hand right here. Yeah. Jenny. Look right here, Jenny. Just relax the arm all the way, Jenny. Jenny, just sleep. Good job, Jenny. That's good. Sir. Oh, it looks like you're still sleeping. I'm just sleep right there. Good night. <laughs> How are you? Jiggly hand. What's your name? Uh, Matt. Jiggly hand right here. Matt. Just relax that arm all the way, Matt. You're a pretty good, strong guy. And you can break my hand if you wanted to. If you don't want to. Just relax it all the way. Look into my eyes. Matt. Loose. Loose. Then relax. Loose. Loose. Then, oh, Matt. I'm sorry. I can't keep you, man. Thanks for coming out here. I haven't seen it there. Just relax that arm all the way there. Sir, what's your name? Yeah. And just sleep. Good. Good. Hi, who are you? Jenna. Jenna, just relax that arm all the way, Jenna, and sleep. Everybody else right here, sleep, 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 sleep. You guys right here, you're gonna go this direction. Rubbing your 
arms and your shoulders, or we can rub your arms and the shoulders. You faster you're rubbing, the deeper you go, the better you feel. The deeper you go, the better you feel. One, two, and three. Rub those arms and shoulders, rub those arms and shoulders. Rub, 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 rub. rub, rub, rub. The deeper you go, the better you feel. The deeper you go, the better you feel. Think about cold, think about cold, think about cold, think about 42 degrees, think about cold. Think about cold, you're shivering, you're shaking. Think about cold. Think about cold, you're shivering, you're shaking. We're all good friends here, right? Sleep. Sleep. <laughs> what if they start making 
Thanks for rap music. If you really like rap music, put your hand out. Go ahead and drop your hand. That's great because the person that I'm touching now, so every time I see the word rapper, every time I see the word rapper, you realize you are internationally world famous, multi platinum selling rap star from Oaktown. Your niche in the rap world is the only rap to children's nursery rhymes <laughs> that you make up. Oh my God. When I see the word rapper, you will open your eyes up and yeah, you'll be rapping blow. one of your favorite hit nursery rhyme singles. It's a clean one. You'll be rapping all your nursery school children. It's all nursery school children here, so make sure that you keep it clean. I'm going to give you a couple minutes here to think of a song. If anybody here really likes rock and roll, if you're into rock and roll, put up your hand now. Ricky! Is this Ricky? Yeah. Rick Renzi! What about Harvey? Just rub your hands. Give it The person that I'm touching now, the person that I'm touching now, right here is the guitar right here next to you. Oh, hell whenever, yeah, yeah. Whenever I say the word rock and roll, whenever I say the word What's rock and roll, you, you will immediately respond by opening your you eyes, you will jump out of your seat, yeah, and you'll so shred out, screaming. I got so it You'll be totally aware of all the dimensions of the stage <laughs> while you're doing this. And just go ahead and just sleep and relax until you hear that word. Excellent. I can see he's very excited about that too. Just go, hooker. All right. <laughs> They're going to come back to him. Hurry up. No, don't leave. Don't leave, Joey. <laughs> he's going to piss his pants. Piss your pants. Hey, is it illegal to piss your pants? I'm touching now. The person I'm touching now. And the person I'm touching now. I cannot see the moment I snap my fingers, you, you realize you are world exactly. famous. And the person I'm touching now, you're world famous female opera singers. <laughs> You've been singing opera since you're two years old. You love nothing more in life than to sing opera. You just love it. The moment I snap my fingers, you realize you have entered an opera competition audition. You're auditioning hilarious. for your favorite, favorite opera part. You'll be singing into the microphone this that you built into your hand. Shit ever recorded. You'll be built into your best like opera song. Now, you really you don't got like guitars, any you got of opera, the other you got opera singers up here. You don't really Rick. like any of the other opera singers up here. Come you on, Rick! You're far superior to them. You know you're way better than they are. Now, you will not use any form of violence. You won't touch them or hurt them in any way. But every facial expression and every mannerism shows just how much more superior you, you know you are to those I got it, right? opera singers. What? Get Ricky on the floor. And three. Wait till we hear the music. <laughs> Ladies. Head on back to your chair, head on back to your chair. No. 
Man, Lauren got fucked up. Wow. Go back to your chairs, buckle in your seatbelt, buckle in your seatbelt, and just slay you. The way you balance in your chair, the person on touching night is stay right there on the floor. We're a lot more comfortable right there. This is kind of annoying. Next time I snap my fingers. <laughs> How long is this thing supposed to go for? Like an hour? The person I'm touching now, the person I'm touching now, and the person I'm touching now, you'll so stand up, you'll open your eyes, you'll come up here to the dance area on the stage, being fully aware of all the dimensions of the stage, and you realize that you are all male Chippendale dancers. Oh my god. 
I know. I, I try to get hypnotized when I'm stoned. It doesn't work with kids that are bipolar either. <laughs> and the lady in the middle, what is your name? Everett. And how old are you? 92. 92. <laughs> She's smarter than me. What year did you graduate high school? 1923. Oh, absolutely. Were you married? Mm. Did you have any kids? Mm. What did you do as a career? Yeah. I don't remember, huh? Lady on the end, do you remember what you did as a career? Punch in the face. Boxer. Boxer. How old are you? Let <laughs> me ask you guys this. He's a boxer. Old folks, what, do you, what do you think of young people these days? Coach Cutter, dude. 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 Coach Cutter, dude.
stage. Irish. Do it, Ricky. Here we go. One, two, three. 